All right, so in this video, I want to teach you some non-organic modeling, getting you used to using extrudes and edge loops in conjunction with each other. So grab a box, move it over, and then Shift D it to duplicate it over. And one more time, Shift D. Okay, for this box, I'm going to do something. I'm going to extrude the top by taking this, extruding it, hitting this little blue arrow or blue circle. And I, you can see I could switch between modes. Now, the only thing bad about this is I still cannot get to a uniform scale. In other words, I cannot scale from the middle and then scale in. I can only switch back and forth from Z up or Y up. See? Okay. So to get to a uniform scale, I must go over here to the scale, and then I get this yellow box, which I can scale in. The other tool is useful also by hitting extrude, maybe not going over to scale. I have this blue arrow, just like I showed you in the last video. So this time I'm going to just do one of these. For this one, I'm going to use a combination of edge loop tools. Like I'm going to insert an edge here, 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 here. Okay. And for this one, I want to take the face and do the exact same thing. I want to extrude in by scaling it into the center and extruding it down. Okay, good. This last box I'm going to delete and make a copy of this one. That way I don't have to repeat myself. Shift D. Okay, so this one, first one, I just basically extruded down. This one, I did some care and put some edge loops around the outside. This one, I'm going to do even more to it. I'm going to insert an edge loop here, 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 and here. Just like that. Okay, let's look at the difference here when I smooth these out. Remember, um, when you render, you might want to smooth out your objects because they look so much better with a nice beveled edge. Not everything has a sharp edge, on, especially when you render. Okay, so let's look at these. Let's take all of them in object mode and hit three on the keyboard to get a preview of what smooth looks like. Wow, whole bunch of different things occurred. This one obviously turned into a bongo drum. This one has an, a really cool indent in it. And this one is more of kind of like a ashtray effect where it's just kind of beveled in like this. All by placing your edge loops and extrudes in different various locations. Okay. I like to call this a brayer um, because it's a braced square. And if you brace it even more, you get this. Okay. You got to be very careful about where you place edge loops to get the effects that you want. Uh, you can get a lot of nifty effects. It just, you Got to know where you place them. It's really a hard thing to kind of master. Okay, let's take, for example, one more thing here. This one. Let's say I want to take this edge or this face and extrude it, scale it in, and extrude it and bring it up. Okay, what would happen if I smooth this out? What effect will I get? I'll give you a hint. It's going to be not square. That's right. It's going to have this nip effect in here. And if I wanted that to square up, I would sit here and insert an edge loop here, 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 and here. Okay. And then if I did it again, in object mode, hit 3. You can see I'm getting a much better effect on that. 
If you know how to place those, you're, you'll become a master at modeling. All right, so this is all I wanted to kind of show you in this video and kind of wrap your head around that. And I'll show you some other advanced things in the next video.